In this tutorial, we will discuss the use of point-of-care ultrasound to evaluate for abdominal aortic aneurysm. The probe that you will use to perform this study is either the curve probe or the cardiac probe, if that's the only probe that is available. You will start at the sub-xiphoid area. Your probe in a transverse plane, probe marker towards the patient's right. And you will identify the abdominal aorta and slide the probe towards the umbilicus until you visualize the bifurcation of the aorta. This is the corresponding ultrasound image. The anatomical landmark to identify the abdominal aorta is the vertebral body that is identified as this bright line with posterior shadowing. Just anterior and to the right side of the vertebral body, you will identify the abdominal aorta. And just to its left will be the inferior vena cava. You will start scanning proximally just below the xiphoid process. At this level, you will see this corresponding ultrasound image, the abdominal aorta circular structure just above the vertebral body. And you can actually identify the celiac trunk which is the first branch of the abdominal aorta. You will track the abdominal aorta more distally, and at this level, you can see actually the SMA, the superior mesenteric artery, running parallel to the abdominal aorta. You can also sometimes see the splenic vein running on top of the superior mesenteric artery, as well as the renal vein. Identifying these vessels is not as important as identifying the abdominal aorta and not confusing them with the abdominal aorta. Following the aorta more distally towards the umbilicus, you'll see that the abdominal aorta becomes more superficial. There is, are no distinguished vessels that you can actually see at this level. Moving more distally, the abdominal aorta then bifurcates into the common iliac arteries. And this is usually at the level of the umbilicus. It is very important that you actually visualize the whole abdominal aorta to be able to rule out abdominal aortic aneurysm. So in this video, you will see that trace starting evaluating the abdominal aorta aorta approximately at the level of the SMA until the bifurcation into the common iliac arteries. To evaluate for abdominal aortic aneurysm, it is important to measure the abdominal aorta from outer wall to outer wall at the level of proximal, middle, and distal abdominal aorta. If you're unable to evaluate the whole abdominal aorta and your exam is limited, at least visualizing the abdominal aorta just above the bifurcation is very essential, as more, most abdominal aortic aneurysms are infrarenal. A normal abdominal aorta is measured less than 3 centimeters.